But how fast is too fast? Especially when their investor isn't ready to go all in. Today's business dispute is between business owner David Goldfarb and his investor Andrew Cohen. They are at a stalemate on the speed in which to grow David's company, Elevate Fun. We are purchasing department stores and we're converting them into family entertainment centers. They are eight dimensional facilities where we have indoor go-karts, we have bowling, we have arcade, we have a full food and beverage, laser tag, ax throwing. This is a hell of a good idea. With three entertainment centers and 35 million already invested, David wants more capital to buy additional properties. I could try to take this thing to a whole new level where these mall developers have approached me, they love what we're doing, and they're giving us opportunity to purchase five, six, seven, eight, nine stores at a time. Andrew and his company believe real estate acquisition is all about timing, and David is moving too fast. We are accustomed to moving at our speed, which is methodical with systems and processes and due diligence, and David is the complete opposite. When you're given this opportunity, you take it. With $150 million at stake, it's time to get down to business with Kevin and Bethany. Welcome, gentlemen. State your names and your case. David T. Goldfarb. My company is Elevate Fun. We're a family entertainment center. My name is Andrew Cohen. I have a real estate investment company in Miami. My close friend, David, for 20 years, has given me the opportunity to invest in his Elevate Fund projects. Talk us through this concept. Sure, as you can see right over here, this was a former department store. We start with the outside of the building, including the parking lot, and we rehab it in such a way where we try to capture the audience, where we fit anywhere from three years old all the way up to 80 years old. We have one department store that we opened, we converted into a family entertainment center. Just it's one? One, we have two under development, so, like, you've got the trampolines and you've already... Not tr we have indoor go-karts, 180 arcade games. We have 12 lanes of bowling. We have laser tag. I pay one ticket, I get to do it all? No. It's pay per play, or you can do a combo of, of a number of them altogether. And how much does each family on the average spend on a Saturday? Probably $100 per individual. So a family of four, you're telling me, is paying $400 they, they, on they a Saturday? They can, they can spend as much as that, yes. But they're also eating, right? I'm turning they're eating. Yeah, they're eating as well. Yeah. Still, I Ooh. like the business. Like, even so. go to a movie today is 25 bucks. I know. You need 150 million to, to build out 15 malls. So David, it sounds like you want to go too fast. Is that the issue? I want to seize an opportunity. I've been approached by a number of people. We met with Simon Properties, which is the largest mall developer in the United States. They love what we're doing. They would like us to capture a lot more stores at a very rapid pace. What kind of discount are you getting as a person who's going to put that type of property in there versus if somebody else wanted to put a store? Probably pay on average 20% less. What kind of margins you make on that? At year one, we're at 600,000 in expenses. Yeah. So we're, our margins are about 200,000 a month. The key to this though is traffic. Are you trying to pick the middle of the range, the high end of the range or the low end stuff? Like where do you fit in the continuum of the mall quality. So we look for a nucleus of about 350,000 people within a 20 mile radius. Does this concept on a square footage basis make you money? Do you know that with only one location yet? Right now we're looking at 15% per year. Bingo! So how much should it cost to buy a department store? It's somewhere around 5 million. Wow. If you go over 5 to 6 million, it doesn't fit into our model. Andrew, I'm a little worried you're going to spontaneously combust any second now. I, I have a question. <laughs> what are your fears about this business? The Fort Lauderdale example is proof of concept. They bought the property at the global crisis, the press, so everything just worked perfectly in Fort Lauderdale. That was a unicorn. They're not cheap. I mean, $8 million per facility. Even if your business didn't do well, you will put something else in there. You could operate it. You could build another right. type of uh, retailer. What is your perfect plan responding to this? I think we need to move at a more controlled and, and methodical pace. How many stores in the next 12 months would you like to buy under your scenario? Another three. That's it? It takes a year to get them up and running. It's construction, it's development, it's acquisition. The opportunities are on the table. We've got to get the price right. Does he have enough management to roll out more than three? In other words, if you're going to... That's a concern, correct. Why don't you address that? How are sure. you going to build out 15 in, let's say, 24 months? 
I've identified that our infrastructure is not ready for 15 stores. So why do you want to buy them if you're not ready to convert because them? Because the, the, the real estate really is a major component of this whole thing. Automatically, the real estate for what we bought it for, for what we're paying on rent, automatically goes up and go up as three times the value. Pigs get fat and hogs get slaughtered. This is a little scary. We're in the craziest market. Interest rates are high. You seem like you're just 100% sure about this. You don't seem like you have any doubt whatsoever. What if it shuts down for three months? We've already dealt with that. It, it's, I've, I've dealt with that when we first opened. I mean, people are going to go out just for simple depression. It was in COVID. I mean, a pandemic can screw everyone. Yeah, I get right, that. Right, I mean, the, right. David, let's hear your plan. If you, you want the 150 for 15 locations, you know which ones they are. They're all in Florida. How many can you convert in the first 12 months into where they're cash flowing revenue? After, it's going to take some time. It's, well, just give me a number. I can probably. that's his beef. You're not doing sure, it fast sure, enough. Sure, sure, I can, sure. I can convert probably three at a time. Three a year? Not necessarily three a year. I can actually start with all of them at one shot. Let's say you did start them all at the same time. When would they be finished? We're looking at it probably 36 months. Some stores are two stories. Some stores are one story. A one story box is a lot easier to convert than two stories. The reason why we're able to get into this at the cheapest rate possible is we're doing the acquiring of the stores, we're doing our own construction, and we're doing our own operating. We're doing all three aspects of the business. So how good of friends are you? Like you have Thanksgiving together? Sometimes, sure. Wow, so it's a very close friendship. 20 years, we've known each other for 20 years, so close friends for a long time, and we were introduced by a mutual friend years ago and been friend, friends ever since. So number one is the trust factor. Right. Number two over here, he's a very bright guy. Number three over here, he understands real estate. And number four is he understands probably most of all my personality. I'm going at a, at a rate sometimes that's too fast. Andrew's a very knowledgeable guy. He's very good on the operations. He's very good in, in management. And he's got a, a calming effect on myself. This thing at least gets people's bums in the mall. And that has more value to them than, than the real estate itself. The value of the real estate can be sold or the operation can be sold. You either go big or you go home. Or you could also lose your ass. We're gonna deliberate. Thank you so much. He's focused on Florida, and they're all gonna come and copy it around the country. Yeah. And then he's not gonna get the national business when it was his concept. If you're in a high stakes money dispute and you want us to settle your business feud, visit moneycourtnow.com. Kevin and Bethany just heard arguments on how fast David's business should grow with the $150 million investment from Andrew. Will they side with David and ramp it up or with Andrew and slow it down? What a case. There's children in every state. There's parents in every state. There's no, families I know. in every state. No, no, no. State. We agree that the business is great, but expansion kills so many businesses, but, and too, it's too fast. But what I want, let's say he can only do five in the next year. You want to hold the 10. Why am I just holding Florida? I think there's something here with Simon. There's other guys in this space, too. I, the Tanger guys. Sure. Yeah. Andrew needs to put the full amount of money up if David can get a national contract. If he can stabilize them at 800000 a month or even 700000 a month and he can do that in the next 18 24 months he gets to draw down the other 50 million 50 50 50. he says he's going to lose those other properties how do we hold on to them you got to go and lease to buy them all now if this guy won't do it they could get somebody else to i do think it. he wants to do it with his his partner of 20 years he wants years. a plan he's focused on florida and they're all going to come and copy it around the country yeah. and then he's not going to get the national business when it was his concept you go to them now and say look i'm drawing down 150 million dollars on this concept okay I want to have an option nationally with all of your locations. So I'm gonna do the 15 here in Florida and another 100 nationally. If Andrew wants to play ball, he's gonna to have to commit 150 million at a time. We're gonna buy five and we're going to lease to buy 10. Every time David stabilizes a building, he gets to call down another 10 It's mil. effectively like you eat what you kill. Yeah. Go do it. And for the national option, they're basically gonna become partners on those empty boxes. The whole deal is Component. tying up the properties. OK, we got it. I think we have reached a verdict. So here's the deal. We want you, Andrew, to give David $70 million now. He's going to build out five and use the additional 20 to option the other 10. 
every time he stabilizes a building to 700,000 a month of revenue, he gets to draw down another 10 million against the remaining commitment. That incentivizes you to work even harder if that's possible, because you, <laughs> you're a crazy guy. And you still own the real estate. You've already proven the concept. You kill it in Florida, so you have to now start entertaining the national brands. You could get another $250 million commitment. If you don't do this, shame on you. I was more comfortable with the three. I can live with five to start. It's really a happy medium approach, and, and for that I respect. They will be wildly successful. I'll be taking my daughter.